Hello, my name is Natalie Villanueva, and I am an intuitive digital artist residing in 29 Palms, California. I moved here about two years ago from New York City. It wasn't until a little less than a year ago that I really got into digital art and out of curiosity decided to try and connect to higher vibrational beings within my collective consciousness or as others would call star family, family of light, etc. So in this journey I'm in, I'm learning or remembering how to connect others to one of the many aspects of themselves by connecting to their systems located in their physical form, in their etheric body, through the practice of meditation, which was inspired by reading about Buddhism. I started having visions of my very first being, which is this one. And I had no idea who this was, but I decided to draw them out. And it would eventually become my very first digital artwork. I come to understand these visions are my unique way of translating what are otherwise semi or non-physical energies. Once I had embraced this, I became more receptive to my grandmother and my brother, both who had passed away about 10 years ago. One of my favorite visions was of my grandmother reading her Bible while these two giant light beams surrounded her. So I would just keep doodling and sketching just like a kid would really do without judgment as I would feel into these different, very supportive beings and collectives, whether I was happy, chilling, or even when I'm mad. It's around this time when it became apparent my grandmother was one of my guides. And being that I had serious issues with authority figures, she specifically assisted me in finding the mentor, the mentor I would resonate the most to assist me in unraveling the gifts of sight and hearing that my grandmother herself had. The intense cultural traumas her people have gone through collectively and individually, and when women were not equal, resulted in her being not just a hardcore Catholic, but the last family member to speak fluent Quechua, a language older than the Incan Empire. Even though she refrained from expressing her gifts fully in order to survive, she saw to it that I would not go down the same path. For this, I thank her. I really do believe that the earliest trigger was back when I was eight years old and played Legend of Zelda Mahora's Mask on my Nintendo 64. I don't remember much from my childhood, but this memory was definitely ingrained in me. It was a scene of these four giants showing up from the four corners of the earth to assist the hero in his journey to save the land from being destroyed by the cursed moon. Music was emphasized as a form of communication with them. I felt nothing but chills in that moment and my imagination started running wild with questions about, about our existence and beyond it. Even though there are many terms for this, star beings, cosmic family, etc., they're basically consciousness existing in a higher dimension of field than ourselves. Now please keep in mind that this is my perspective my truth. It's not the truth, as I truly believe there is no such thing. Souls that inhabit the human form can forget that they are multidimensional beings, meaning they are existing as source consciousness experiencing many different dimensions, consciousness, other consciousness, timelines, all in this moment, in the now. The human form is just one experience, just one aspect of your light, experiencing this one density out of many. My goal or something I'm eager to do here is to demystify what we call the galactic and angelic realms. That they are not so intimidating, have to be put so high on a pedestal, nor are they so far away from us as we are led to believe. These energies are not alien to us. They are just as powerful as we are, we are just as powerful as them, and have never been separate from us. I would say that the most wow thing about these energies is that they are us. 
they are also our brothers and sisters. The ability we have to connect to all the information we cannot see that surrounds us is innate. How we feel called to express or portray them is unique. I envision that this ability becomes a daily part of our lives, a daily part of the lives of humankind, the way my peers and I decided our spirituality and self-expression become a part of ours. Practicing this innate ability is something that does not need to be feared, doesn't need to be rare or judged by us, just like we don't need to fear our self-expression, make it rare, or have it be judged by us. Now, just to be clear, there can be requisites to this, which I would highly recommend in taking the time to reflect, which is, how is your ability to discern things such as emotions and intentions? Do you think for yourself or do you let yourself be swayed by others? How self-aware are you of your light, strengths, traumas, and behavior? How deeply connected are you to your body, to your heart? Every day is an invitation into getting closer to your empowerment, sovereignty, and freedom. And it's with this state of mind that even in your bad days, you will be able to connect through your heart to these energies that are set on guiding you to your highest potential here on earth. So that's the end of my talk here. If you guys have any questions or resonated with any of this and would like to reach out, feel free to use the contact info provided.